Hi there, Karen Lebo with VintageDazzle.etsy.com here with another vintage haul video. So here's what's going on. My mother-in-law, Sally, who if you've wa been watching my videos for quite some time, you've probably seen her make an appearance now and then. Um, she is moving to assisted living, which means she is going from a large two-bedroom apartment to an efficiency. And she has so much stuff. I mean, she's been giving me stuff for years and years and years. And it just keeps coming out of the closets and drawers. It's just this never-ending supply of stuff that she has. An amazing amount. So, even though she has downsized a lot, she still can't fit it all into her apartment. <laughs> so, there will probably be more. But I have a whole lot here. I have boxes and boxes that I just brought home. So I'm just going to be doing this in uh, lots and um, we'll get as much done as we can at one time. And uh, so today, uh, and I, I should warn you up front, there's no jewelry. I'm very sorry about that. Uh, she took all that with her. <laughs> but, um, but we do have um, some really nice books some pictures, and I have a table full of various and sundry knickknacks. No rhyme or reason to any of them. All different ages, all different styles, but uh, I'm going to show them to you, and I'm going to be getting these listed as I can, but if there's anything here that you see that you are interested in, please send me an email, and um, I will try to get it listed, or um, sometimes I do sell things just right off YouTube if if you want to do it that way. I can do it that way too. You can just use PayPal. Okay, so uh, I shall get started showing you all this fun stuff. So here is the first group that I'm going to show you. There's some books. A lot of those are ones I'm going to keep because they're um, collector's guides and things. And we have that, and then we have this group of paintings and prints and whatnot that I'm also going to show you today. <laughs> Sorry for the mess in here. It's just, the stuff is everywhere. It's just everywhere. Okay, so I'll start with this funny little egg with a little boy and a bunny. I have no earthly clue what this is, how old it is. Sally didn't know either. Yeah, each of these things, um, I was going through her shelves and cabinets and anything that I was attracted to that I thought maybe I could sell. I would show to her and she would say, oh, I think I want to keep that, or oh yeah, you can have that. So that, that's that's what we did for every one of these items. I showed them all, all to her and the ones that she didn't mind parting with are the ones I ended up with. So yes, this is a little covered egg with a little, uh, appears to be hand-painted little boy. So I'll have to figure out what that is. And I haven't done research on any of this stuff, so. Um, this is, I believe this is basalt, maybe? A little carved uh, ducky. Looks like it might be Asian. And I think I have a few more of these little carvings somewhere, but they're not in this group today. Um, these are some old bells. Very pretty sound. They appear to be copper, uh, you know, they look old, but I have no idea. They may just be like a reproduction or something. <laughs> um, I just thought this was cute. It is a, a reproduction of an ancient artifact that was found in whatever country this language belongs to. Uh, what do you suppose that could be? Is it Portuguese? Probably showing my ignorance here. I don't know. I will find out, though. But it's kind of cool. There were a lot of these sort of uh, very primitive um, little statuettes and things that look like ancient. And I, I thought, you know, if it turns out that they're not worth a lot, I could put a group of them together because they're kind of cute. Okay, and these are some... I believe these are Danish, made in Denmark, yes. Uh, Mid-century modern. They need a good scrub. But, um, 
Yeah, I thought these were cool. And then this is a comb, like a faux tortoise shell, in this uh, previously silver plated. Um, it's an absolute mess. I'm going to see if I can clean it up or shine it up in any way. It's very oxidized. Uh, it may be that it's kind of hopeless, but I thought it was worth giving a try to. I have no idea what's going on in these scenes. Um, looks like they're drowning someone, but I don't think so, really. I'm not sure. And then, um, this is a cute little, tiny little dresser box from a celluloid set, probably from the 1930s. I had some other pieces of this. I think I already sold them, or I might have one still that I'm using. I know I have a I have a hair receiver that I use for cotton balls. And um, this is a soapstone carving. It's really amazing. And look, she got it for two. She leaves price tags on things. Um, she used to do that, you know, when she because she was a dealer. And she would leave the price tag on until she was ready to list it, so she would know what she paid for it. Me, I tend to write things down uh, so I don't lose track. Uh, this is very cool, though. Uh, probably from China. Okay, let's see. I'll show you these plates. Now, you know, little hand-painted China plates. Kind of out of fashion these days, but um, I just love them. This one is, um, it's a Haviland Limoges, a little hand-painted. And then this one looks like it could be, you know, ma a match for it, but it's actually from Austria. It's Imsi Austria. It's so sweet. Then, um, this one, another $2 plate. This hand-painted, you know, Victorian China painting, probably. Not, not a bad one. Uh, someone with some talent painted that. And she had a few of these hand-painted, and this was one was my favorite. Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? I think someone did a really nice job with this. Oh, that focus is not very good, is it? Hold on, let me get a better focus. Okay, that's a little better, isn't it? Okay. And then this one, she kind of insisted I take this one, even though I think the painting is hideous, and she thought it was too, but she thought it was kind of funny because it was so bad and so amateurish. It's like, you know, Victorian girls, they all had to learn how to china paint, and this one, probably everybody was saying, oh, bless her heart, she tries. Um, this is a, mm, can't quite read that, Silesia, uh, yeah, so it's Tillowitz, it's R.S. Silesia, Tillowitz, um, it's probably a good kind of plate, I don't know, and then, uh, these are some California pottery, uh, this is Parma. P-A-R-M-A, -A, I think is what it is. I think that's what that says. Let's see. This one. I think that says Parma. It may be something else, but it's close to that. Um, Sally just couldn't resist any kind of California pottery. She loves the stuff. Uh, these are very nice. They're not. There's no brand on them, but they're marked Made in California. These are very uh, 1950s. And they're in really nice shape. There's a couple of them. In really good shape. Um, don't don't know what I can sell those for. You know, some of this stuff I may end up donating it. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with all of it. But if I thought I, it was faster just to go ahead and take stuff and pack it rather than try to research it on the spot. So I did. Um, this is a silver-plated uh, martini pitcher with a stir. It's not in great shape. It's got a couple of places where the silver coating is scratched off. Um, but it is a nice picture, I will say that. These, I just, um, I'm going to turn them back into flower pots. Believe it or not, they were made into earrings. 
These were earrings. <laughs> That's my crazy sister-in-law. She was at, there was a time when she was turning everything into earrings. It was a little bit of a joke. She was giving them as gifts to everyone. But anyway, those are going to be flower pots. I don't know where they were made, but they're cute. Okay, now these, we have some Gypsy Witch fortune telling playing cards. I have sold these before. This is in a really nice box. Um, if they're all here, these are pretty. These, this even has the um, instructions, and they're in really good shape. So, they, this is like a, an example of what they look like. They're really nice. They're fun, and I think um, maybe people like to craft with them. Not sure. This is a beautiful hand painted tile that's also kind of sculpted. And um, Sally said she bought this because she just thought the perspective was incredible on this, and I tend to agree with her. Isn't that beautiful? It just looks like it goes six inches back. It's really just a very shallow carved tile. Isn't that just gorgeous? There's no indication on the back of what it is, so I have no idea. And this is another hand-painted tile, the waterfall, and it is signed. I can't really quite read the name. Um, and then there's some notation on the back that I also it appears to be in a foreign language. Can't read that either. So, I'll try to see if I can figure out who that is. Don't know. Um, this apparently is a hair comb from Africa with this woven handle. That's very pretty. And this is carved from marble or may, may, might be alabaster, but I think it's marble. Maybe alabaster is marble. Uh, I, Sally didn't know anything about it. She, some of these things she didn't know she had. She'd look at it and go, oh, God, I don't remember that. <laughs> so, oops. Uh, took this because it's got these, um, these glass things, which I love to mosaic with these. So those will go out to my garage studio. Here's another piece of California pottery. Um, let's see, what's this one? Um... This one is not marked. Put it over here. Okay, let's see. We have this elephant. And he's made of something very, very light. I'm not sure what it is, if he's paper mache or what. And he's got leather ears. But he doesn't appear to be marked or anything, but he's pretty cute. A lot of people collect elephants. Then we have this mid-century, absolutely fabulous kettle. It is, uh, let's see, uh, Rain Kupfer Plon, oh, okay. There is something written on the bottom, I can't write, quite read it, but it sounds like it's German. Got a logo of a clover, S U S. Uh, I, I, I'm, I hope I'll be able to figure that out, but um, I'm figuring that's got to be valuable. She was using this as her kettle, she really liked it. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, I absolutely adore this. I may not be able to part with it. I don't even know what it is. It's Angels Riding Horses. It's a relief carved. It's almost like it could be a bookend. It could be a bookend, but it's just fabulous. Um, if I had to guess, I would say Guatemalan, but oh, I don't really know. That's just a guess. But oh, I love this. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, I may keep that. Okay. Let's move over here a little bit. We got some hand painted animals from Mexico. Um, this one 
is signed Elpidio Fabian. The kitty cat. And um, so, so there is a fairly well-known artist who is known for this style, and I believe this is him, Santiago Margarito Melchior, Melchior Santiago. This is, I guess, a coyote, maybe? Look at his little face. Isn't that cute? I have sold one of these, oops, one of these before, and I think it went for a pretty good amount of money. Um, and I think these other ones could be from his workshop, but perhaps not directly from him, one of his apprentices or something. Like there's a couple of deer. The deer, the two deer are not signed, but aren't they adorable? I really, I love this coyote. And why don't we go have a look at the books? Because these are fun. So, this, look at this, a dictionary of marks, ceramics, metalwork, furniture, the identification handbook for antique collectors. Look at all of this. Isn't this wonderful? Oh, I'm going to have so much fun. That is a keeper. Chairs, tables, sofas, and beds. Oops. There's all these wonderful color photos of all this antique furniture. Um, probably going to sell that because I can't see, I don't visualize myself ever being a furniture dealer. I, I'm, I like jewelry and smalls. and <laughs> I don't think I'll ever have a retail space where I could sell furniture. So uh, Here's Collector's Compass Jewelry. Uh, your resource for building and caring for a collection. I um, have to look through this to decide if I want to keep it or not. Ooh, there's some pretty pictures. Ooh, okay, that'll be fun. Then, um, this is a, like a genealogy book. Uh, this came from the Fre Frederick V. Slocum, I believe it's Sally's brother. It's either her, I know she has a brother named Fred. That might be an uncle also. Um, I have no idea. I just know sometimes genealogy books can be very valuable, so I'll have to look it up. Then, uh, Mexican jewelry. I may already have this book. I'm not sure, but looks like a fun one. Okay, and here we have a book on green and green architecture. Uh, green and Green is a company known for doing these craftsman style houses like this that we have all over Southern California. They're like famous for it. They did all these beautiful mansions in Pasadena. And there's uh, probably a few in Long Beach where I live. Um, but it's, it's fun. Let's see. Scribes, Warriors, and Kings. This looks like something to do with Mexico, I'm guessing. Oh, Ancient Maya. Yeah, City of Copan. Copan and the Ancient Maya. So, oh, that'll be fun to look through. This was, this was a gift to Sally. Um, it was, uh, it was published in 1991. Okay, this is the family of man. Um, let's see if I can figure out what this is. It's a a book of photographs. Oh gosh, I don't know. It's mid-century. It's like um, a museum something. I don't know. Okay, I'll have to investigate that. Here's a nice coffee table book, Women Artists. Hold on for one second. Okay, sorry, my husband is waiting for a guy who's coming over to pick up his computer and repair it. His computer died. He's very unhappy about that. Uh, anyway, this is, a, this is a nice coffee table book. Um, don't know if it's worth anything or not. And then this is, ugh, if I can get into it. Um, 
This is a book with various art plates in it that are, you know, these kind that are like tacked in. Portrait of Russia. Uh, great treasures of the Kremlin. Um, I'm guessing this book's going to be valuable to someone. Um, if not, oh, I don't know if I could bring myself to do it, but the, but the plates make nice things for framing and displaying. Um, let's see, is that the last one on that bus? Nope, nope, one more. Okay, here's a, the world of Goya. Oh, I think this is a Time Life book, so it's probably not worth anything. I don't know how I ended up with that. I probably wouldn't have taken it if I'd realized it was a Time Life book, but who knows. Okay. Uh, was encouraged to take this one by Sally. Harry Truman. It's like reproductions of letters and photos and stuff having to do with Harry Truman. So, I don't know. When was this published? Uh, this was published in 1982. Don't know. Okay, this is a cool book on Indian jewelry. Something that, that interests me a lot. I think that I've probably had, well, I've had a lot of cheap Indian jewelry, but I think I've had a few nice pieces too that I didn't know what they were and probably sold them too cheap. Um, but anyway, there's some cool pictures in here, so that'll be nice to go through. Uh, American Art Pottery. So much to learn, so little time. Ooh, this will be fun. Um, yeah, there's. I see a lot of pottery at flea markets and garage sales, and you know, it would be helpful if I had a better eye for it. <laughs> uh, Diego Rivera. This is kind of beat up, but looks like there's lots of nice reproductions in here of his paintings. Okay, collectible silver jewelry. Oh, I just sold, I mean just like in the last couple of weeks, a pair of these flying geese pins. So, wow, I wonder if I sold them too cheap. I don't know. But, um, that will probably stay in my reference library. Um, Islamic art. Be fun to look at this. Ooh. You know, it just never hurts to look at stuff and kind of get an eye for style. So if you see a piece of art or a print or something, you can have some prayer of guessing where it came from. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's pretty. See, I've had some Islamic metalwork that I've sold. It'd be interesting if they have anything about that. Uh, treasury of Satsuma. I have had some Satsuma pieces lately. In fact, I just sold a Satsuma, a, a tiny little, it's either a sake cup or a salt. I don't, salt seller, I don't know what it was. But, oh, this looks fun. Okay, Design for Life, Cooper Hewitt National Design Museum, Smithsonian Institution. I will probably look through that and then see if it will sell, I don't know. And then, this is just fun. This is a, like a reproduction of a Victorian photo album. For, you know, it doesn't have the photos in it, you put your own photos in here. But, um, oh, it's absolutely beautiful and uh, this was like published in the 90s or something so it seems to be in pretty good condition and this looks like might be another yeah this is another time life book early Islam more Islam art, art. ooh pretty things those will be fun so I have a lot of reading material. <sighs> Since I'm still in a semi-lockdown state, it's always nice to have something to do besides look at uh, YouTube pet rescue videos, which is one of my addictions right now. Oh my gosh. 
I cannot control myself. I watch, there are hundreds of them up, and I watch one after another after another. So long as they have happy endings, I will watch them. Um, okay, I, I think maybe I'm going to stop here, and uh, we've got 22 minutes, and uh, then I'll just um, start on a new one, and we'll just do part one, part two, part three, till I get it all done. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, as I believe I said at the beginning, but maybe I didn't, uh, these items are, or s most of these items are, or soon will be for sale in my Etsy shop at vintagedazzle.etsy.com. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I do weekly vlogs and I do haul videos. And um, I have full intentions of doing some how-to videos, but I haven't succeeded yet. My first one was a disaster, so I couldn't post it. Um, but anyway, that said, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon. Bye!